In the section Convert Rails to Centerline, you will create a horizontal centerline geometry from the left and right rails. The rail alignment will only contain line strings, curves, but no spirals. So, from the rail ribbon, and we're going to go to the regression tools here. I'm just going to window in so that I can access the left and right rails more easily. And I'm going to go to the option to convert rails to centerline. On the dialog box, I'm going to set the feature definition to geom temp and the prefix, the name I'm going to give to this uh, line, I'm going to call it regression line. I'm also now prompted for the left rail and the right rail. So following the prompts, I'm going to select the left rail first, select the right rail, and let the software process the line. And again, now using my element selection tool, if I window in, you can see now here is the uh, regression line down the center of the left and right rails. Along with the regression line, regression points are created also along the line of the regression. They have been placed on a default level in the DGN. So we're going to transfer them to a more identifiable level. So we're going to go back to home ribbon. And we're going to go to the level display. And you can see here that the default level is, is still on. And we're still in the metric regression dot DGN. And I'm just going to go right click in here and I'm going to select all off. OK. Now, using my element selection tool, I'm going to extend the settings. And I'm going to the level tab here. And from the level tab, I'm going to select the default level. Now, if I just window out a little bit, you will see that the regression point here is highlighted and it's highlighted 423 of those points. And I'm just going to hop my cursor over one of those points and go to the properties of the point. And you can see here that there's no feature definition set. So I'm just going to change this feature definition to point, rail, regression point. And I'm just going to deselect in the screen. If you now on the level display panel, select the used, you can see that the used level is now rail regression point. So all those points have been transferred from the default level to the rail regression point level. We can also verify that by going to the level manager and you can see if you order these by used you can see their 423 points are now transferred to the rail regression point level. So I'm just going to close the level display panel and I'm just going to collapse the extended settings on the element selection tool.